on my way to deliver the order. I uh, correct block but took the wrong lift. Alamak. Hey fellow riders, welcome to another episode of Grab Adventures Tips and Tricks. Today's episode is about delivering to housing development boards flats or HDBs. Compared to condo deliveries, HDB deliveries are fast and easy. Anyway, most of us live in uh, HDB flats, so we would know the we, we we would like to think that we know the intricacies of uh, HDB uh, units. However, after I became a food delivery rider, I discovered that not all HDB flats are built the same. Certain flats have uh, certain characteristics uh, that uh, food delivery riders, especially new riders, might find challenging. In this video, I'm going to show you little tricks that I have learned, which uh, helped me to find the lift unit or the actual customer unit uh, more accurately, uh, thus saving me time while doing deliveries. If you are a new rider, I hope what I'm about to show and tell to you will make deliveries uh, easier for you on your first few rides. Do you know what else will be very easy for you? Hit that subscribe button. Just click on it to be notified of even more videos such as these as and when I post them. Now let's get on with the video. Let's ride! I am on my way to deliver an order to this uh, customer uh, at, these, uh, H at this HDB flat which you can see on the opposite side of the road over there. This is the block that I'm supposed to deliver the order to. Now, this, uh, series, this cluster of HDB, uh, it's arranged in a semicircle format. So, uh, if you go in and then you end up at the wrong uh, turning, right, you can actually get lost trying to find the lift. I'm actually riding down the pavement and then uh, I will turn in into the car park uh, further down. Sometimes HDBs, uh, you have to... I mean, there are so many different types of HDB configurations and layouts, you know. Uh, especially nowadays with the BTO flats and all these. So, uh, here is how I'm gonna find out exactly where is the lift landing gonna be. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna cycle on the inner part of the of the street within the HDB layout and I'm gonna look for two things. Uh, the first thing is the rubbish bin, the, the main rubbish uh, bin and the and the second thing is a, uh, either a loading or unloading uh, bay. Uh. So as you can see this is the bin over here with the grey metal shutter the lift will always be located on the other side of this bin. Uh, I will show you as I go in. And this is the loading bay. So there is usually an excess ramp and I will, and I will cycle up. And the lifter is always positioned on the other side of the bin. So, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, okay, okay, guys go first. Okay, uh, so you see, this is the lift over here. Let's complete this delivery and I will show you again on my way out. Delivery has been completed and I'm on my way out right now. I show you again. Uh, so this is the uh, access ramp and the loading bay. Uh, so I'm just let me cycle out first. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, usually uh, this is the uh, one of the things uh, that I will actually look out for when I'm delivering to HDB, the rubbish bin and the loading bay. Uh, one plus factor is that the, the, the rubbish bin will also have the block number uh, indicated on, on the side of the wall there. So it's actually, uh, it, it actually acts as a reference uh, for us as well. This will be my tip number one. Look out for the rubbish bin as you approach the HDB. My next tip will be useful especially for cyclists and walkers. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to identify the way to the lift lobby uh, when you access the, the HDB flat from the, from the front uh, like what I'm doing right now. So as you can see, I'm cycling up from the front instead of coming in from the back of the block and uh, you can see over here 
there are actually floor tiles laid out on the ground uh, which is leading all the way in. This uh, floor tiles uh, don't just serve a decorative purpose. It's actually kind of like a marker which leads uh, all the way to the lift foyer. Uh, let me show you another uh, second example. Uh, over here you can see it's all concrete, concrete, concrete. So as you cycle along, just keep a lookout for the tiles. Ah, and there you have it. So here's the tiles and uh, this is the lift foyer. Another tip that I would like to share with all of you is that as you're cycling in from the front, alternatively, you can also uh, look for the letterbox. The letterbox is always located beside the lift. So as you can see, there is the letterbox over here. Once I see the letterbox uh, area, uh, the lift area should be just around the corner somewhere. Maybe I think just, ah yeah, okay, there, there you see. Uh, this is actually a newer HDB BTO flat. Uh. Usually uh, the BTO flats, uh, well, they have a lot of columns, man, and it really obstructs like your view when you're cycling. So the foyer can, uh, the lift lobby can actually be quite hidden sometimes. Uh. Did you know that there are HDB blocks whereby you can reach certain units using specific lifts? Let me show you what I mean. I will bring up the schematics of this particular block. What you have here is uh, one particular block, block 118. This block has three lifts, lift A, B, and C. Lift A serves 754, 756, 758. Lift B serves uh, 760 to 768. And lift C serves 770 to 776. The problem that food delivery riders face is that when we receive a particular uh, order with a unit number, we have to go to that particular lift. As a new rider, there are countless times when I just reached a particular lift, I go up and then I realize that, oh, I cannot get to that unit from this lift. I have to go to the A lift. So, you know, it can be very frustrating and we lose uh, uh, time uh, making these kind of mistakes. How did I find a solution to this problem? After a few deliveries and uh, mistakes uh, such as these, I discovered that Usually these units, right, they have a decentralized uh, garbage uh, area. So it's like every two units share a particular garbage uh, area. And when you cycle on the, on the back part of the estate, right, you find that the unit numbers are actually reflected on the garbage bins. So let me just uh, cycle along the back part of this block and I will show you exactly what I mean. Uh, so we come over here, as you can see, this rubbish chute is actually for the units uh, 760 and 762. Normally, uh, I found that these type of uh, rubbish chutes are located in the older uh, HDB flats, those which were built before the year uh, 2000. Uh, flats which were built, I think, after the year 2000, uh, their rubbish bins are actually located outside the flats. It's a centralized uh, location. Uh, which is located not too far from the lift uh, landing of your particular floor. So people would have to bag their rubbish, you know, and then go out and throw the uh, rubbish. Lah. Okay, so uh, let's head in. Uh, just now, I think uh, if you guys missed it, it was actually 770 and 772. So the lift area for that one should be close to that bin, which is right over here. There is also another way to check if you are at the correct location. Look out for the staircase uh, opposite the lift. Uh, there is usually The staircase is usually located opposite or beside the lift. And look at the unit numbers uh, beside the staircase. You see the unit numbers reflected over here. These are the units which are accessible from this staircase. And the lift would also uh, uh, access those units as well. Here is another example of that. Uh, so you can see the lift over here and the staircase is at the side and the unit numbers are reflected on the, on the wall over here. So this is normally how I locate the correct uh, unit number and the correct uh, lift which serves the, that particular unit that I'm delivering the food to. And with that, we have come to the end of this episode for tips and tricks. If you have your own solutions to some of these HDB problems, then do drop me a comment below. 
I'll see you in another episode. Ride safe. Be safe, guys.